This series of drills is a new take on the old conductor sculling drills. The conductor drill is aimed at helping swimmers find their catch on the front end of the stroke. As with most sculling drills, the goal is mainly to help you feel the water better so you can have a better sense of when and how to engage your stroke. But we feel that many traditional sculling drills mostly focus on the feel of your hands and less on the forearm. These days we want to be more focused on the early vertical forearm or EVF. So this series of drills aims at using the conductor style sculling to center out the feel of the water on mostly the forearm and less on our hands. We like to start off using any flat paddle. We take off the straps and hold them by pressing our hand from behind. But we like to keep our hand as close to the top of the paddle as possible. Use large enough paddles that they extend down over your wrist to keep your wrist from wanting to break. For this video, we are going to use the flutter kick for all of the drills, but you should also do this with the butterfly and brushstroke kick. With the flat paddles, move your arms gently back and forth like a conductor as you flutter kick. We want the elbows high and minimal wrist bend. This will start to create a feel for the water. Pay attention to the point in your conductor movements that will give you an instant catch in your stroke. Next, do the same drill but with your head out of the water. This will force more weight on your hands and more feel to your hands and arms. Once you get used to these drills, switch to the swimmer's best precision paddle. Since these are displacement paddles, they will take away any feel from your hands and focus your attention on your forearms. Once you get used to this, raise your head out of the water to really drive the force to your forearms. Now add the wrist trainer to the precision paddle with the head down at first, and then later with your head up. This will help you think more about minimizing your wrist break. Finally, we are ready to do this drill without any paddles. Be sure to focus on your pressure of your forearms and notice how you are now feeling your hands again. The goal is to stay focused on the feel of your forearms without any of the equipment. Because at race pace, we need to be able to engage as much of our forearm in the earliest part of our stroke as possible. Run some full 80% speed with a full stroke to put it into action then some full race pace. Remember, this same set of drills works great with your breaststroke and fly as well. 